Okay, <clears throat> it's uh, July 7th now, and I haven't made a video in about three weeks, so I thought I'd make one just to update everybody on the status. Um, this is the new growing space. I kind of uh, took this idea from Jess at uh, Roots and Refuge. Oh, it's, it's a trellis. And it's hot here in Texas right now. And the heat is really affecting the production of the tomatoes. But, um, you know, you can't control that. So what I've done is I've made three rows. They're basically 50 foot long. I think I'm planning on um, building a greenhouse in this space. But I wanted to put some plantings down and maybe build over it. And probably a difficult way to go about doing things, but you know, I wanted to get a head start. So, um, we're averaging about 96, 97 on our hotter days. And so that really affects the plants that are out here in the open. But, um, you know, I can't say that I'm surprised. I'm just kind of um, have done what I can to keep them on the cooler side. I am getting some, and then we've had quite a bit of rain. Now these are watermelon, and this is tobacco. It's coming along pretty good, really. Now, this was my little planter deal, and it's it's done okay, I guess, you know. And then this is my uh, only surviving kale plant. You know, turns out the chickens love the kale so much that they completely destroyed it. So, uh, hey, I got a couple of avocado trees that are started. And then in here in the greenhouse, it's, uh, I've had some mixed results, you know. I've got, I've got the fan on in here every day, you know. And that keeps the temp in here a little cooler. But we're in the middle of the day. It's probably, I don't know, 90 in here. Which is a little cooler than uh, what it gets outside now. I've had some pretty good production here still, but I also started to get some um, blossom end rot on some of the tomatoes that were the first ones that I planted. So I came in and treated it with uh, some pulverized lime, and it seems to have really done well. It took care of the blossom end rot. So, um, you can see the greenhouse is really still producing plenty of tomatoes. It's just, it's difficult for me to stay on top of the pruning. And I overwatered a little bit, so I've got some cracking going on on some of them. But I'm still doing the lowering method. And I'm still getting lots of tomatoes. I just haven't stayed on top of the pruning as much as I really should have. So it affects it. When, when I prune regularly and water consistently, I get a much better product. So, you know, it, it, there's a learning curve to this stuff. You know? There's a little bit of leaf curl here. I really, I pruned this all last week, but you can kind of tell that I've still got lots of tomatoes and they're still coming pretty consistent, but I'm not getting as many as I did the first few weeks. And like I said, 
over watering you'll get cracking so you know I made a decision to um, do away with the hydroponics completely because they were just getting burned up you know I mean we had several hot days in a row and um, so what I did is is I took the planters and converted them filled them with the mushroom compost and I took the plants that were in the planters and kind of set them up on a tree, you know? And I had some that are doing okay and some that didn't do okay. I had, I got, got some caterpillar, hornworm caterpillars who got through a couple of them. So, you know, I, but then pressed for time, I, uh, I had my granddaughter here a couple of times and she averages staying eight days in a row. So, you know, when she comes by, I just kind of let things go more than I should. So I don't care. It's more important to me to, to spend time with her than it is to take care of the garden. So, ends up I, I spent a lot more time <clears throat> catering to her than what I do. So these are tobacco plants. This is another tobacco endeavor, you know. So I'm determined to make my own cigars. And I think it's going to be successful. And I've seen some videos where the guys are curing uh, tobacco in four days in Indonesia. I'm going to try the sun dried method. Now, these are cucumbers that I planted for my, on behalf of my wife. She asked me to get grow them. And then these are all cuttings. These are my two hydroponic boxes. And they're doing okay. You know, so that's where we're at with the garden right now. I'm still, um, like I said, there's, there's a learning curve to this stuff. And, you know, there have been some disappointments. Um, I think that when when I have the greenhouse environment in the summertime, a swamp cooler does do well to increase the production. But out here, <clears throat> you know, you can't change the heat and you can't control how much water is on this stuff. So it really does affect it, you know. So lessons learned, you know, we'll know next time. And right, right now, I mean, it rained like I'll get out and these things are still needing water. So, you know, got some more cuttings. I'm getting ready to, to uh, sprout a little further. And then, I don't know, this is, uh, this is gonna have to be redone and and put some new plants in it, you know? So I'm getting ready for a winter crop. And I, I'm gonna be a little more selective about what types of tomatoes I put in here. I've gotta find some that aren't as susceptible to cracking, you know? And uh, so I'm gonna do a little research, see what I can find. I need some heirloom varieties. I mean, I'm, I'm finding out what I don't want, you know. So I'm not going to grow any more aromas, that's for sure. They uh, just never did develop the flavor that I wanted. So anyway, that's where we're at with the greenhouse. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated, let you know how everything goes. And uh, y'all enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.